Hello everyone, uh, let's do a revision on the data and operations of chapter 2. Uh, this was a question that I gave earlier in the class for the students to do as a homework. Uh, read the question. Uh, write a program that computes tax and tip on a restaurant bill. The program should ask the user to enter the charge for the meal. The tax should be 6.75% of the meal charge. The tip should be 15% of the total after adding the tax. Display the meal charge, tax amount, tip amount and total bill on the screen. Okay, after you read the questions, uh, actually you have to analyze the question. When you analyze the questions, find the keyword that will help you to structure your answer. Okay, uh, this is how I ana analyze uh, the question. Okay, number one, we see here, write a program that computes tax and tip on the restaurant bill. The program should ask the user to enter. So, we have a user input. Okay, what is the user input? It's the meal charge. Okay, so when you, has, as you know, when we have a user input, meaning that we will use a scanner class. Okay, so make sure in your program we have, will have this uh, scanner class. And then you know, um, charge means uh, price. Okay, price. So meaning that it will deal with um, floating number. So you have to declare your data type of meal charge, whether you are using float or double. Okay, so let's say I want to use double. So you have to create a variable name. It can be meal charge or it can be uh, meal or price. It's up to you as long as you follow the rules for naming identifier. So I want to use as a meal. Okay, since the meal is input from user, as we know, we have to use a scanner. So remember, for double, the method that we have to use is next double. Okay, all right. So next one, second one, we'll take a look what the questions want. The tax should be 6.75% of the meal charge. So means that the second one is actually we have to calculate the tax. Okay. Okay, what's the formula of the how to calculate the tax? So tax is equal to 6.75%. Of the meal, right? So meaning that is times the meal charge. So if we want to convert into a code, so it should be like double. Why? Because we already declared the meal charge as a double. So double tax equal to 6.75%. We have to change it into a number which is 0 0.0675 times make sure you use the asterisk and mil okay this is the way to convert into a code okay next one next step is what the tip should be 15 percent of the total after adding the tax so number four number three we have to calculate the tip okay what's the formula Tip is equal to 15% times okay, times the total after adding the tax. So meaning that is the meal charge plus the tax. Okay, so if we want to convert into code, should be double. equal to 15% is 0 0.15 times meal plus tax. 
okay okay now we have done the operation or the process of calculate the tax uh, calculate the tip the last one is actually to calculate the total bill okay so next step is calculate the total bill okay what's the formula so i straight away change into a code total bill okay this one you can name any name any you can declare with any name equal to your meal charge plus the tax plus the tip okay so this is how we okay i put it into next line so you can see to calculate the tips to calculate the total b sorry now last one is you can see here to display all the information so display or okay display all either you can use system out print or you can use system dot out print f okay next let's try to write the code after we analyze you can see here so it's easy for you to know what to do the first one is user input okay now let's try to write the program we open a netbean uh, i have i have created uh, the file already uh, which is i name as a program one.java and then uh, it's under my folder of testing okay this is the questions i put it into a comment you can see here so let's start now all right from what we have done just now first one is a user input so we know we have to import java utility the package of scanner class okay All right. public class program one now we write the main method public static void main string arguments okay so we need a scanner object okay i created input as a scanner object okay we ask the user this is the first step number one as you can see here Okay, user input mid charts we are using scanner I already prepare all the uh, important for the scanner now we asking the user to input the milk charts okay system dot up pre see here I already decided to declare as a double meal so double meal equal to input dot next number so for step one we already done for step one number one okay next one is to calculate the text so we have prepared just now so copy back this one and okay, here okay, so this is number two is next one sorry next one is 
complete the tips. Semicolon here. Number four. Is calculate the total bill. Okay. Now the last one. Number five. Is to display. Alright. So first one is to display. I want to use printf. Uh, I want to use printf because I want to manipulate the percentage to be two decimal point. So if you are using printf, you have to use percent dot two f. Okay. Uh, I want to put a dollar sign here, and this one should be comma. Okay. The meal chart is meal. Okay. Uh, next one is to display the tips. Same thing. Okay. Copy to shortcut the time. Let's copy. Tip. Okay. All right. So, sorry, the text first, right? Text. And then this is the text amount. This is the tip, and this is a total bill. Total bill or the meal. So, total bill. Alright. So, just double check. You have declared all the variables. Meal, tax, tip, total bill. And print out here. Meal, tax, tip and total bill. So, depending on the... Uh, variable that you use so you can see i already covered number one number two number three number four number five okay uh take a look on our analyze here analyze uh, uh, how we analyze the code just now the program just now is under five steps here okay so there are five steps i covered already so save and then we run our code shift f6 okay enter the mu charge so we enter, so let's say it's a 10 ringgit. Alright, you can see here the output. The tax is a, it will calculate the tax, the tips and the total bill. Alright, you can see the output is in one line because I'm using a printf without any next line. So we can adjust our code. You can see here. Okay. So I can add a slash last slash n here backslash n okay backslash n backslash n to uh, get a nicer output. Don't forget to control s and then run again. Okay, so then we get so you can see here the meal charge is 10 ringgit, tax is 68 cent, tip is uh, 1 ringgit and 60, so the total is tot is 12 ringgit 28 cent. Okay, so thank you. I hope you can learn something from this uh, video.